All right, so in the tank here, what, what you're looking at is the female Pelvicromis tenaceus crebensis Nigerian red or Nigerian delta red or Nigerian red cabenzi, depend, or crebensis, not a cabenzi, that's a mushroom. <laughs> um, but you see her shaking like that? So that is a spawning ritual. And she will do that to entice the male, and they are looking for a place to spawn and to make a cave together. Now, they don't, they, they will mate for life, uh, these ones, now that they have been together. Earlier today, even at the store, they were harassing one another, and it was a bumpy ride home, and I was warned that they could kind of tear some fins and, uh, scales from one another but now we've got her doing this beautiful little dance and kind of teasing the male with all these colors and their colors are getting brighter by the minute and their bellies are getting more purple her belly was already swollen so that's a good indication that she has eggs and right now what they're doing is they're they're rubbing their pheromones and their slime coats with beneficial algae as well as eating little things like daphnia and and so on. So they're just a beautiful fish. Um, it was really hard to find these in this country. I think there's only two places where they're publicly listed at the moment. And uh, I happened to get them. It was my birthday. And, uh, you know, I just, I had to treat myself. And hopefully they'll have babies soon. But it's just it's really cool to see a fish, you know, oftentimes birds will mate long term and not necessarily for life in the sense that if one dies, the other one won't find a new one. Um, I don't know the case with this specific uh, sub variant of the Cribensis, but um, or cribs as people like to call these fish. I'll probably be referring to them as red delt or red uh, Nigerian red cribs. We'll, we'll probably call them that. But the male will go out more, um, more adventurously and go check things out and kind of mark his territory and explore while the female stays back at the homestead. And then they will work together digging out this pot. So I actually put some gravel in there so that they can work on ripping the gravel out. And there's some algae up here and that's what she's working on eating. Now, interestingly enough, love is in the air because my blue Japanese endler is also doing his shimmy shake dance. And so it's just a tank full of love. I'm here with my wife. And so, hi, hi wife. Hi. And she, what's she doing over here? I'm cutting out pictures of Alexander when he was a child. So everybody's feeling the love in the tank. Maybe we need that Elton John song. Now, let's stick with the Beatles. All you need is love. Um, but regardless, I just wanted to show you the new additions to the tank. They are incredibly beautiful, and I hope to have them for a long time. Um, I was really nervous getting them in the water. I was just like, no, nothing happened. I've never spent this much on a fish. I, it's like more than I want to spend on... I don't know what I would spend that much money on, but... More than I would spend on a fish, that's for sure. But if you want to continue to see the little love story developing between these guys, or a guy and gal, um, even the female of this species is just gorgeous. Um, she's got that swollen belly and that... Oh, she's coming to say hi. So usually they're incredibly shy. You saw she just tapped the glass, so she thought she could get at us. She actually nibbled at me while I was adjusting, or he nibbled at me while I was adjusting the pot, and she was not in the pot, but nearby. And this ornery little cuss over here decided that he was going to protect his lady. And so we'll see what happens. There's some blue shrimp over here. And see, she's already there with him. They hate being apart. They've already bonded. And they just really love one another. And it's, it's really touching to watch them follow each other around the tank. I mean, they don't have love maybe logically, but they're willing to die for one another and to protect one another from even fish twice their size, uh, as a lot of cichlids do, but then they take care of their children for several months 
and uh, the mail really takes a role in making sure that the coast is clear. And I've even read reports that he'll herd the um, the microflora and fauna into the the den for them to eat. So either they'll they'll make their nest here or back in here or over there. But the pot, I think, is going to be the tried and true method, and. I think that's where we're going to see them uh, at most of the time. I might need to turn it away from the glass if they get more private or plant more around it. They don't like really bright light, so I'll have to turn the, the light down a little bit. But they're just a gorgeous fish, and I'm really excited that they're going to be part of the channel, and they're part of our lives now. So um, we couldn't have a dog or cat in the house right now, unfortunately. And to have a fish with a little bit of personality and beautiful color is kind of cool. So you can see her doing that shimmy shake again that you see fish do when they're spawning. And his tail is getting oranger as she does that. You can see it's almost turning like a reddish orange on the very tips. And uh, the way they turn colors, the, the hormones going on here... And they kind of just like kiss each other like that and nibble on each other, but they're not... Uh, they haven't been mean. This couple has not been mean at all to each other, and some are very, very violent to one another. Whereas this one is working in tandem, and they're cleaning up my tank. They're getting rid of all my little pond snails, and they're eating my algae, and they're digging through the rocks. So they're pretty much all I could ask for at the moment, as long as they don't eat my blue dream shrimp, which they very well might. But might be worth the sacrifice in order to keep such an interesting uh, pet. So if you like this, if you want to watch them grow up and you want to watch uh, their little family and their story, uh, it'll be on this channel along with all the other educational stuff and I'm going to talk a little bit about where they're from and other crebenzies or other cichlids for that matter. And uh, we're going to we're going to grow with the tank as they grow with the tank and also these Japanese blue guppies or endlers, they're a hybrid of the two, um, should be uh, reproducing again shortly also. So if you like that, click the like button for love. Uh, just do it for love, guys. And subscribe if you want to follow this story or you just want to learn some cool scientific stuff about fish and the aquarium trade in the future. Uh, so there's some ruby uh, tetras back there. There's their pot. That's their happy place. Um, and if you want to help support this happy couple and have first pick on their children, basically, this first litter when they have them, uh, my Patreon members will have first pick of any litter that's ready for um, for going out into the public. So I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll be catching back up with this lovely couple shortly. So thanks for tuning in. Take care of each other like these two, and uh, take care of your fish, and take care of business. Have a good night, you guys.